Let's take a look at whether or not we should enable Wi-Fi version 6, as well as the multiple client optimizations, which is going to use OFDMA. Wi-Fi 6 is only going to be available on the latest devices. So if you enable Wi-Fi 6, then that means that you probably have devices that have come out sometime in 2023 or newer. So if I uncheck this, particular option, then we won't see Wi-Fi 6 as an option. Wi-Fi 6 does allow for much faster connectivity, over one gigabit in connectivity. So why would we want to uncheck it? Well, the reason for that is because if you have a lot of different types of Wi-Fi enabled, then it divides up the various different channels, as well as it also causes a problem with the antennas. So a lot of different types of Wi-Fi makes the antenna put out a lot of different types of frequencies, and that will make things run slower in general. So if you are enabling Wi-Fi 6, then it's recommended we go over to the right-hand side and just enable 5 gigahertz only, because that will cut down on the amount of frequencies that are being used for broadcasting Wi-Fi 6. Now let's take a look at one of these other options, which is multiple client optimizations. And that's using orthogonal frequency division multiple access, or OFDMA. What this particular feature does is it allows us to take a user and dedicate that user for a specific channel. So if a second user comes on, they'll get another channel. Now, if you have a lot of different wireless access points in the area, this may not be possible because a lot of those channels may already be in use and you can't end up using multiple channels on different access points at the same time, or you'll have a problem. But let's say you're in an area that doesn't have a lot of wireless access points. Then this is a great idea to be able to check this box, because what it'll do is every client that connects will end up getting their own channel if it's possible. Now, if you have a lot of people on your wireless network, then that may not be possible. But if you have, say, 10 or less, then there's no problem, because there are a lot of different channels that can be used. So the first channel will go to the first user and the second channel will go to the second user. That's instead of taking a single channel and dividing it up between all the different users. So it's much faster. There's also an optimization for video streaming. So if you have this enabled and people are streaming videos, then this will make streaming videos much faster as well. But if people are generally using this to open up files such as Word or Excel documents, this may not help and may cause a slowdown for users. If you're not sure if your users are using Wi-Fi 6, which utilizes 802.11ax, then you can go to the vendor of the device and take a look and see if it does support it. If it doesn't, you can just go ahead and uncheck it and check that box later once newer devices show up.